Hello and welcome to a demonstration of TTS using Mary TTS on Raspberry Pi Zero using Raspbian and referring to it in Unity Client using RT Voice Pro running Mint Cinnamon 20. So you enable You enable real VNC on your Pi system and you do that by running the console sudo rasby config you install SSVNC on Linux client machine Mint Cinnamon 20 use the menu software and solo it's up here here SSVNC search for VNC or SSVNC install that hello and welcome to a demonstration of TTS using Mertz on Raspberry Pi Zero using Raspbian and referring to it in Unity client using RT Pro running Linux Mint Cinnamon 20 Enable real VNC in Pi system. Run console sudo. Raspy config install SSVNC on Linux client machine Mint Cinnamon 20. Use the menu software installer. I used if config to get my Pi IP address. Used by Root Voice Pro in Unity. In the Pi console. Install Java 8. Sudo apt update sudo apt install open jk get hold of the latest release version of Merts in my case 5.2 release. Unzip in home forward slash pi forward slash merits 5 to use forward slash bin forward slash merits component installer to get cool voices. Look for HSMM for more intonation. I like the American male voice. CMSRMS. I used crontab minus E to edit the task manager. Add reboot to run merits server. I need to implement advanced string manipulation in my TTS client. This is not the best but it is free and under my control versus the commercial cloud alternatives that start charging after a set amount of text. Sudo raspy config control shift v to paste text from client to pi. Remember to use forward slash before merits server. Right, so that was just an example. We're going to save that. Control A again. Control A. Copy it. Paste it in again. So I'll paste it into my chat client thing here. Paste and enter. That's a whole nother lesson on how to do that. Okay. And yeah, so we can we can set the clock. It's probably going to take about four or five minutes for it to actually work it through. Once it's done, it's cached and you can paste it again. It will be instant. The other thing to do is to use a separate, a different program to actually just run it to a WAV file and then you've got it as a WAV file, which is something I'll explore in the future. And uh, so let's talk about it again. So I've created a Unity application here using RT Voice Pro samples things and I've been very clever making it stream connectivity with Twitch but that's by the by the focus of this video is how to get it up and running on a Pi Zero I'd like to have that as a bit of a, a text thing I, I don't know what's going on there I've really got to dig in figure out so Using SSVNC, we connect into the Pi. Uh, we've got various things. I've got a desktop shortcut, which is just a text file with the following in. If I didn't run it. So it's very slow, but that's because it's trying to do all that work running the uh, the voice stuff. It's using Java. Um, so it's that's the key there. The exec is the key command. It's kind of like a batch file. You type all that in, and it it runs the the server. But what we were actually using is whatever I've called it. Um, Crontab, which is the task scheduler for Linux. Now, we again, I want to be careful not to run it. We've got two here. We've got an off button and a restart button. So for the off button, it's very similar to this one. These are just the most common things. Uh, it's exec power off, 
and the other one is exec reboot. I'm not going to bring it up because I, I am going to be just to be absolutely sure it's not restart. Viv, but just ranked up to hashtag veteran level six hours 865 coins XP to next level 1000 forward slash 1440. Well, that's cool. So it's getting the server announcements. Anyway, it's exec reboot reboot. Yes. So that's the key command there, the magic word. And if we bring up the console, I don't know if this one is. Yep, okay. Uh, pseudo Raspberry config will get us into enabling things. But the one that I wanted to bring up was uh, cron tab minus E. And scroll down, and it's at reboot slash whatever Mary TTS dash server using the proper path. And that means that on reboot, it will um, run Mary TTS. So, oh, and the other thing we had to do is we had to do some very clever stuff. This is something I forgot to mention before, but um, we had to uh, enable on service, enable cron. Uh, which is sudo space system ctl space enable space cron space service or scron cron dot service sorry not space cron dot service and then sudo space system ctl space start space cron dot service uh, and that was just to start it and then you've also got stop restart and status so we should be able to do a status there so if i bring up oh let's get out of this for a start um control x right so you know system ctl and instead of start i'm going to do status run dot service there we go and that session closed uh, that's just gonna let me out I'll go to control C right uh, so that was the getting making sure that the the cron service is running uh, and enabled so it's written in so it actually start on on boot up and uh, I don't know if that other message has jumped in the way of the of this one so let's copy this again copy and paste it into my thing again right so let's tab is there anything else I need to say? Hello and welcome to a demonstration of TTS using Mertz on Raspberry Pi Zero using Raspbian and referring to it in Unity Client using RT Voice Pro running Linux Mint Cinnamon 20. Steps. Enable RealVNC in Pi System. Run console sudo. Raspy config install SSVNC on Linux Client Machine Mint Cinnamon 20. Use the menu software installer. I used if config to get my Pi IP address used by Root Voice Pro in Unity. In the Pi console, install Java. Sudo apt update sudo apt install open jk get hold of the latest release version of Mertz in my case 5.2 release. Unzip in home forward slash pi forward slash Mertz 5 to use forward slash bin forward slash Mertz component installer to get cool voices. Look for HSMM for more intonation. I like the American male voice. CMSRMSMS. I used crontab minus E to edit the task manager, at reboot to run Mertz server. I need to implement advanced string manipulation in my TTS client. This is not the best but it is free and under my control versus the commercial cloud alternatives that start charging after a set amount of text. 
sudo raspy config control shift v to paste text from client to pi remember to use forward slash before merits server uh i think if i covered everything else and um oh yeah start let's put it at the bottom starting cron service would be sudo system ctl enable cron.service stop we don't need the full stop in the code so oh, well, let's not use it then copy Woo, what i put there copy paste enable start the other one uh, copy status that's just to check it and then stop um, start the key things you can do with the cron service which is the uh, cron tab cron tab edit the cron it all it's all very arcane but right let's control a copy it again shunt it in paste enter see how long it takes uh so i'd really next steps really are to try and get mary um tts to integrate with seriproc vo voices that would be very cool possibly try and use one of the the cloud voices you know like um in the amazon one i just don't want to get locked into some awful blooming contract you know pay as you go even i don't even like pay as you go let alone or oh, you know a thousand bits of text now we're going to start charging you uh but you i mean they do get more naturally sounding voices but what i really want is i think say proc will give a lot uh a lot more variety of voices and if i can integrate Sarah Proc, that would be a massive massive step but um what else is there to talk about uh i've really got to stop using this stream chat thing that i'm working and, and create a new application which is purely you open up a text file uh preferably with a dialogue actually so you can a file explorer for um for unity you open up the text file it opens it up it displays it uh so kind of like a notepad for unity uh and then with that i want to be able to uh, then read it out and then save it as a wav file a lot like the functionality with read aloud software which costs a fortune. Hello and welcome to a demonstration of TTS using Mertz on Raspberry Pi Zero using Raspbian and referring to it in Unity Client using RT Voice Pro running Linux Mint Cinnamon 20. Steps. Enable Reovnk in Pi System. Run console sudo. Raspy config install SSVNC on Linux Client Machine Mint Cinnamon 20. Use the menu software installer. I used if config to get my Pi IP address. Used by Root Voice Pro in Unity. In the Pi console. Install Java. Sudo apt update sudo apt install open jk get hold of the latest release version of Merits in my case 5.2 release. Unzip in home forward slash pi forward slash Merits 5 to use forward slash bin forward slash Merits component installer to get cool voices. Look for HSMM for more intonation. I like the American male voice. CMSRMS. I used crontab minus e to edit the task manager. At reboot to run Merits server. I need to implement advanced string manipulation in my TTS client. This is not the best but it is free and under my control versus the commercial cloud alternatives that start charging after a set amount of text. Sudo raspy config control shift v to paste text from client to pi. Remember to use forward slash before merits server. Okay. 
yeah, so I think that's covered all I really want to cover. I put any questions in the uh, comments. Uh, so really, it's just uh, reading text, using it on a Pi Zero. Why why use a a Pi Zero? Uh, because it's a, it's a cheap option. It's an embedded little gadget. Uh, you run the USB, it's powered by USB, it's incredibly efficient. You could run all this in a virtual machine uh, of mint cinnamon or whatever you, Linux you like. And I tried that with, I tried doing it on my Mac, on the computer, this computer, but I found that it, it was slightly unstable with when it was also trying to run games and anything and video editing. And I tried it on my other main computer which uh, I just need for um, video editing so with video editing I want as much power as I can get and even then I find it slower than I'd like so I certainly don't want to be partialing off processes and memory to a a server unless I absolutely have to so I'd much rather be using pies as little server boxes uh, it's just I mean they, they're not fast but they're still I mean if it's, as long as it's functional and stable and low power consumption I think there is some real potential in using uh, raspberries as little little um, network servers and uh, for example I'm also thinking of atavism as well which is this MMO so you could you can have like one pie dedicated for like five to a hundred people. I think hundreds pushing it, but it should be able to cope with, uh, I don't know, um, four to ten people really. Four to ten people per pie, especially if I get a pie four or pie five when it comes out. Although the pie four needs a fan. Which is more power consumption, and it's we're only talking tiny amounts of power consumption compared to a PC, which is massive. You know, we're looking at 500 watts plus, aren't we? Potentially for a, a uh, for a PC versus about five for a for a Pi maximum, and even that's pushing it. So, but even so, the the cheaper we can run these things. Hello and welcome to a demonstration of TTS using Mertz on Raspberry Pi Zero using Raspbian and referring to it in Unity Client using RT Voice Pro running Linux Mint Cinnamon 20. Steps. Enable RealVNC in Pi System. Run console sudo. Raspbian config install ssvnc on Linux client machine Mint Cinnamon 20. Use the menu software installer. I used if config to get my Pi IP address. Used by Root Voice Pro in Unity. In the Pi console. Install Java. Sudo apt update sudo apt install open jdk get hold of the latest release version of Mertz in my case 5.2 release. Unzip in home forward slash pi forward slash Mertz 5 to use forward slash bin forward slash Mertz component installer to get cool voices. Look for HSMM for more intonation. I like the American male voice. CMSRMS. I used crontab minus E to edit the task manager. At reboot to run Mertz server. I need to implement advanced string manipulation in my TTS client. This is not the best but it is free and under my control versus the commercial cloud alternatives that start charging after a set amount of text. sudo raspy config control shift v to paste text from client to pi. Remember to use forward slash before merits server. Starting cron service sudo system tool enable cron service sudo system tool start cron service sudo system tool status cron service sudo system tool stop cron service sudo system tool restart cron service cron tab minus e. Right, so yeah, uh, and if I control a or just paste that in again, it should be almost instant now because it's had it the first time it runs through it, it's got to think quite hard, but again. Paste and enter. Be a repeat button. Hello and welcome to a demonstration of TTS using Mertz on Raspberry Pi Zero using Raspbian and referring to it in Unity Client using RT Voice Pro running Linux Mint Cinnamon 20. Steps. Enable RealVNC in Pi System. 
Run console sudo raspy config install ssvnc on Linux client machine mint cinnamon 20. Use the menu software installer. I used if config to get my pi IP address. Used by root voice pro in Unity. In the pi console, install Java. Sudo apt update sudo apt install open jdk get hold of the latest release version of merits in my case 5.2 release. Unzip in home forward slash pi forward slash merits 5 to use forward slash bin forward slash merits component installer to get cool voices. Look for HSMM for more intonation. I like the American male voice. CMSRMS. I used crontab minus E to edit the task manager. At reboot to run merits server. I need to implement advanced string manipulation in my TTS client. This is not the best but it is free and under my control versus the commercial cloud alternatives that start charging after a set amount of text. Sudo raspy config control shift v to paste text from client to pi. Remember to use forward slash before merits server. Starting cron service sudo system till enable cron service sudo system till start cron service sudo system till status cron service sudo system till stop cron service sudo system till restart cron service cron tab minus e. Run tab minus e. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I think that's covered most of it. Um, I'm sure I've forgotten something. But uh, I need to go through the code as well, how I managed to get all this running. But that's another video. Um, so I think that's everything. Uh, my brain is a bit off at the moment. So I will say uh, that will do for now and uh, I hope people are as excited as I am at being able to get decent text-to-speech for a Linux working and being able to set it up uh, for free and using FOSS stuff as well as this stuff which is not FOSS but it's still very very cool which is the Unity stuff. Okay, thanks for watching, see you next time.